I'm going to shoot this intro on the car because it's windy outside. It's not super windy, but it's windy enough to where if I'm holding this camera without this far away from me, you're probably going to have a little bit of a hard time hearing me. Today, we're going to fish another little pond. I caught one out of here earlier this year, and we've had a couple days of, you know, mid 50s, high 50s, low 60s. And I'm pretty excited. It's been standing like 45, 50 in the night. So pretty excited to get out here and try to catch some fish. Did some fishing last week. I got a video coming out tomorrow. So hopefully you guys enjoy that. You'll have done seeing that video and I'll probably be editing this video. So <laughs> anyways, guys, hopefully you guys enjoy this video. I'm going to probably bring out like three rods with me. Um, do some jigging, crankbait, or probably not crankbait, jerkbait. And uh, from there, we'll figure it out. But hopefully we can get you guys on a fish or two. And uh, let's get to it. Catch some fish. Giants. 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 Trying to catch a giant. Woo! Looks like we got about three feet of visibility. I can't complain about that. Not one bit. Look there. First thing I see is a dead bluegill. I don't sure if you guys can see that down there. But it's right there. Next to my lure. Anyways, we're gonna start with this little underspin. I think this is a mustad underspin. Good little bait. I really like the way the blade spins underneath with that extension. Work this bank line first here. I don't think it'll be that close. You never know, right? You never know. Fish in here are gonna start schooling soon. And Roman. The okay thing about this underspin for me is if it does, the spinner gets caught in the grass, the bait is still working. You're just not getting that vibration anymore. I guess you'd still be getting some vibration from the tail kicking. It's definitely one side of this pond is deep, one side of this pond is shallow. I still haven't been able to locate where it becomes. It'd be somewhere out here where it becomes a point where it comes back up. When bank fishing and searching for fish, I like to fan cast. So I'll start at one side and work my way all the way around if I got to. I'll work my way all the way back around. Just do a little 180 from where you're standing. This almost seems like this corner I'm pointing at right now, my rod. It seems like that's a little bit of a hole. Come 
coming straight off a deep edge. Oh, he came off! No! No! Shoot! That was fish. I'm pretty darn sure that was a fish right there. Oh, no. Yep. That was a fish. Bummer. That was a good one, too. Darn. <coughs> darn, darn, darn. I don't even think I poked that fish. I guess we'll leave this spot alone. See if that fish comes back later on. Move down to the next spot. That one might haunt me for the rest of the day, right there. <coughs> it's tough to get bit in this place, but when you do get bit, you gotta capitalize, and I did not. I used to wonder if that fish just had the tail end of the bait. Oh, look at that. Coast Guard. There's one. Oh, that's a big one, too. That's a big one, guys. Oh, that's a big one. Big one. Biggin. No, that was like a seven, guys. Oh my goodness. Oh my goodness. Oh my goodness. Oh. Oh my goodness. <laughs> oh man. Holy cow. Oh, it was a freaking seven. Fudge. Throw this around for a minute. I'm gonna switch it over to a jig.
There he is. There we go. It's got to be a staging hole. There we go. On a little regal spinner bait. That's the male. It's not that cold. It's cold. It's not that cold. Oh, pound and a half, two pounder. We'll take that all day long. Heck yes, boy, boy, boy. I'm gonna get a picture real quick and then we'll let her go. Yeah, that's gotta be a staging hole there, guys, though. It's, it's, it's a pounder, pound and a half. -er. Really had you, though. Let's let this fish go. Deuces! All right, guys, so we missed two fish. It might have been the same fish because the first time I didn't hook them, but we missed two fish, caught one fish. The first fish we missed, as you guys will see, was probably about a seven pounder, maybe bigger. It was at least a seven pounder. But yeah, intermission right now. Got to take my wife to the doctor's and then we're going to get back to it. I think we're going to come back here. So see you guys in a little bit.